everyone, welcome back to The Mom's View. I am Kaylee, this is Colette, and my cousin Jessie is back. If you didn't see last TMV, she was on and she was talking about postpartum depression, so be sure to check that out, because I just think that it's just nice to know you're not alone. And yeah. Jessie shared her story and how she got help. And if you don't know much about Jessie, you probably should. We'll leave links below, so be sure to check her out. Mm -hmm. But she loves oils and natural healing, is that what you would call it? Mm -hmm. And she uses them all the time. She's introduced them to me, and I'm so grateful. And she's just going to share a little bit more about doTERRA oils and what you can expect if you hop on over to her channel. She's going to help us all, because I feel mm -hmm. like I know you and I have talked about like having oils and we're not sure what to do with them, so. Yeah, I feel like I have a book and I've got I know. all these oils and I'm like, okay, where do I start? Yeah. It's <laughs> and really I'm, always, overwhelming. I'm just gonna use this, here. <laughs> <laughs> just try this. This will help. I don't know what it's gonna do, but yeah. it'll help. Yeah, put this here. <laughs> I know, I, I was given my oils, um, just little samples of oils, and I think it was months that they sat on my windowsill mm -hmm. before I actually picked it up. I had a headache one day and I'm like, I think she said this is for headaches, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And it worked, and I was like, yes, it's working. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I got started. Um, my channel is just from how to's. I focus a lot on moms um, because that's the phase of life that I'm in right now. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I kind of, I'm sporadic on not just moms, but men's healing, athlete, athletes, um, students, teachers, everything. Um, kind of just try to hit everywhere I can. And I love feed from you guys to ask me what I need to hit on because Sometimes you guys are experiencing things that I have never experienced, but I can sure look it up and help you out. Mm -hmm. um, I, on the last show that we did, we talked about postpartum and anxiety, and I just wanted to touch on the things that I used as far as oils and stuff um, to help me crawl out of my hole. You'll know what the hole means if you go back and watch the video. Mm -hmm. um, I used these two blends. One's called Balance. It's just a grounding blend to help you get back in your zone. And this other one is Serenity. Um, this is a calming blend just to help you have peace and be able to sleep well. And it's good for children as well, but that's what I use for me. Um, I also used these doTERRA supplements. Um, it's a really good multivitamin. It covers every base you possibly can as far as your nutrition um, that you can't quite get enough out of food. I also cover in my video on postpartum this oil, Neroli. Um, this is a good thing that I roll on almost every single day, either my kids or my husband or me. And it wasn't around when I went through postpartum, but it is something that needs to be is around now and needs to be used by those suffering from it now. Another oil that I don't have with me because I just gave away my last bottle is Copaiba. It is amazing. Drop it under your tongue. It barely has a taste and the neurological effects it has are amazing. Really? Um, yes, and it is, it's so soothing and um, promotes um, the effects you need from depression and anxiety. Mm. So, and rose oil as well is just really good for calming and zoning yourself. So there's just so many things that we can touch on and it's not all about postpartum, it's not all about anxiety, but it's about everyday living and everything that you can do for yourself. And for others. And for your kids. Uh, you And kids. I'm always like, Jesse, what can I do? Like, mm -hmm. Gage is doing this, or Braley's doing that. What can mm -hmm. I use on, on kids? Because I think with ourselves, it's like, I'll just try this. We'll see if <laughs> but with your kids, you like, you don't want like them to have some reaction. So I'm yeah. always like very careful when it comes to And my that's kids. the thing. Another thing on my channel is to help you know how to apply them, how to use them. That you could use them talk topically, aromatically. Um, we do some giveaways on my channel and on my Instagram, um, giving away diffusers, um, giving away a bunch of different stuff, but you need to learn how to use them and how not to use them. Mm -hmm. There are ways, there's things that you shouldn't do with them and a lot of people skip that. So it's a good channel just to hop on and ask questions, get them answered and to have a lot of fun. Um, we also do a, not quite crafts, not Kaylee crafts, but we put together things such as little bottles like this, where we'll be doing, I'll be having a couple videos on what I put in different roller bottles and different little applications. This, I use this for a room spray. It's an amazing, cute little bottle. It's even cute. It's That's really good. cute. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of 
a bunch of everything. I just I think that when you want to start like when you want to dive into oils or anything like that, you just need a place where you can be educated. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it's hard. There's so much there's information. So much, yeah. yeah. I think a lot of times that's the biggest problem. And then there's the skeptical, like, is this, does that really work? I don't know. Like, I know when I, when I was younger, my mom, you know, when she discovered that she had cancer, she dove into that world of homeopathic things and everything. And, you know, she did the chemotherapy and she did the, the, what do you call it? The, the scientific way. Yeah, oh, scientific. She, I'm, I can't the, even the think medical, of the word. The yeah. medical, modern stuff. And then, you know, when that, it just, it just kept coming back. She was like, I have to figure something out. I have to do this. And so she really tried everything, like the stories I could tell you. But um, she got really into iridology and like muscle testing. And I remember at the time just thinking, that is so weird, mom. <laughs> like, I don't get it. I believe you though, because I think you're really awesome and you know what you're doing, but I don't get it. And so I feel like this kind of world has been coming back mm -hmm. and maybe it's just more more aware like people are becoming more aware of it mm -hmm. or maybe I'm more drawn to it now but I just feel like if I can help me and my family without having to go to the doctor every time we get a cold like how amazing especially will that be? with five kids and yes you would be at the doctor all the time which you probably have had that period of life where you're at the doctor constantly mm -hmm. and I have nothing against modern medicine that's right. what I was that's looking the for. worst <laughs> I was like the modern something. <laughs> I'm a respiratory therapist so I'm like a lung nurse but um if sometimes people don't understand what respiratory therapist means so we just say nurse so yeah, mm -hmm. but I, I do have a lot of medical training and I love modern medicine. I think there just needs to be a good balance between right. both. I think what's happened is people used to use holistic healing and then when modern medicine came out, not came out, but started growing and growing and growing and it's amazing. There's things that are amazing that we can do nowadays. Mm -hmm. I think holistic healing just kind of went under the wayside mm -hmm. and now it's kind of starting to flip up so they're both being used. And it's really amazing how they can come together. Mm -hmm. So amazing. And there's just so many different things that my family hasn't had to go to the hospital or the doctor for um, when I can use stuff at home. Right. And it's really comforting knowing that in the middle of the night when my baby wakes up with a sore ear, mm -hmm. that I can help soothe that without right having to wait until, yeah, right away until, wait until the doctor opens at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. to hurry and get, grab an antibiotic or something that's gonna have to take hours to work yeah. anyways. Yeah. So that's what I wanna hit on with people. Yeah, because even in that case, mm -hmm. it's like, you don't wanna over medicate and you're worried about like, should I give my kid this? Mm -hmm. But then I don't wanna give them too much of this and am I giving them too much medicine? Am I using this for too many days? Mm -hmm. With oils, it's just natural. So you yeah. don't have to worry about that. And also like being on medications in the past, like I know the side effects and I've mm -hmm. felt them and seen them in my own life. So to mm -hmm. know like, I can use these oils and avoid all the side effects that they list on the commercials and you're like, what? <laughs> like the side effect part of the commercial is way longer yes. than the actual commercial. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah, than the actual like feed. Description of the, of yeah. the, yeah, right, yeah. the benefits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I also hard. think the great thing about using oils is it helps prevent you from mm -hmm. getting sick. A lot of if you just stuff. If, if you diffuse different oils mm -hmm. in your home, it's gonna kill the germs right yeah yeah and you can help around. build your build your immunity um it's wonderful and it's not just all about oils it's about nutrition and mm -hmm. exercise and everything good yes. and so we need you to want bring the goods. all together you want the good to so come to my channel <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding it's true though <laughs> you know but where yeah. i'll be <laughs> getting all the Get goods, the goods. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Anyways, I'm excited. I'm so happy that you're back making I'm videos. I'm happy too. And I'm happy I'm back to my normal self. Yeah. That's yeah. so good. And you know, I, as I was, well, you'll have to go watch the last episode, but as I was hearing your story and I really felt like I could connect with you mm -hmm. and I felt like sometimes we go through these really, really crappy things so that we can wake up to how we can help others. Exactly. Too. And I feel like you're doing that and I just want you to know That's that I like, really appreciate that. Yeah, well thank you. I'm so glad because I I feel like that is sometimes our mission. Like mm -hmm. I told, I said earlier that I have never really had a hard, like really hard thing I went through. Um, just being a teenager was the hardest thing I ever went through. Mm -hmm. But this was my thing and it was really hard and I overcame it and a lot of people haven't, 
but a lot of people just need help. And I think I can have a mission to help people and it doesn't have to be postpartum. I can help you with a lot of different things um, through the education that other people have helped me with. Mm -hmm. Um, It's taken me a long time to know what I know and there's so much more that I have to learn and I'm excited to learn it with you guys. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching and being inspired by my cousin. She's so amazing. Oh, you're so sweet. Go to her channel and get the goods. Get the goods. (laughs) Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.